Hey everybody, welcome back into the shop again. Steve with Swamp Bottom Baits here. Uh, I got to make up some uh, Gills swim baits today. So uh, the color, I'm not going to, I'll show you the base that I use, but I won't show you, you know, my full recipe on it. Uh, it's one of my own colors. So I'll just show you the color base that I use, uh, which is cutthroat trout. Uh, anyway, I want to say thank you for all the subs and the likes that we've gotten so far uh, y'all are helping us grow slowly and uh, it's all very much appreciated and uh, when we hit 500 we're going to have uh, a new release coming out so uh, real quick if you're interested in looking at anything we have to offer there's a link on the about page to the tackle box that's our Etsy store where we sell at uh, there's also a link there for swamp swag uh, where you can find shirts hats mugs stuff like that and if you need any graphics done please look into the link there for neptune multimedia a buddy of mine does great work he's done most of our stuff as far as our shirts and stuff like that go our logo uh really good guy does really great work so uh with all that said let's go ahead and get into a quick little video of making these gills swim baits be back in just a minute Alright everybody, welcome back. This here is my color I call Cutthroat. And like I said, I'm not going to give out the recipe on it. I will tell you that uh, MF Cutthroat Trout Changeable is what I use for a base. Um, see it's got a nice like copper pearl to it. So I start out with 40 drops of that, then I add you know my flake and some other stuff. So... Um, the mold that we're going to be shooting is the bluegill from, I'm thinking that my wife got this from uh, BTS. Um, it has a rod with an insert. Now, sorry about the bump in that. This here is a lead insert that I had made for me. Um, and your rod, I don't know if you can see it right there, it's got a little nick, which stops it from going down. And then you place the rod in there. Oops, come on, get lined up. You know what, I need to put a little bit of oil on that rod. And the lead inserts, if you're going to use those, um, you need to paint them. Uh, that one there is painted with uh, clear powder paint. So, because the lead will react with the plastisol. So let's go ahead and bring you all out just a little bit. So, and this mold takes a minute. To cool down because it is a thick bait so like I said I start out with 40 drops of cutthroat uh, cutthroat trout to one cup of plastic so we'll top off our sprue I always try to round it up just a little bit So, and I sell these by each, so I've got to make up three of them, and uh, we'll bring you all back in a few minutes when this one's cured up and we can open it up. So, be right back. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this out of the vise. Let's see how she came out. There we go. That is our gills in our cutthroat color. So you got the rod that goes through there right there. You can see the weight up inside it. I do. Turn a little bit. 
and pull it right out the bottom. And you can see the hole that goes through there. So let's go ahead and cut this sprue off. And you've got the hole right there where your line will go in. And then your line will come out right there in front of the anal fin. Right there. And you put your hook on the bottom there. So, got to make up another one. Uh, that is a second one. And I hope you all enjoyed. I very much appreciated all the likes, the subs, helping us get up there. Uh, we're coming up on 500. So, uh, we're going to be doing something special when we hit 500. You can see I've got a couple of 3D printed molds here. That is uh, just some uh, test molds. Of ideas of mine so we're working on those anyway y'all have a good day we thank you very much peace everybody